Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I shared with you some cool tips that relate to the undo command. Okay, not the U command, but the undo, U-N-D-O command. And I promised you that I would dive into it a little bit deeper two weeks later. I know you have been on the edge of your seat, admit it. Okay, so let's make you Brilliant. Let's make you a wizard at the undo command. So first off, I want to make sure that you understand how redo works as it relates to undo, because that's important. So you need to know that redo just redoes whatever the last undo command did. Easy for me to say, right? So if I go on the undo command and I type in three, that means it's going to go, it's going to undo the last three things that I did inside of AutoCAD, right? So it zoomed in and it took away two of those circles, is what it did. If I do a redo, it's gonna redo all three of those steps. That's an important thing for you to know. If you do an undo back, all the way back to when you first entered the drawing session, and you do a redo, it's gonna take you right back to where you are here as well. Okay, we're on the same page. Just undoes, redoes the last undo. Sure, Lynn. Okay, let's go back into undo and look at, do a little bit more of a deep dive. So there's an option in undo called control. When you do a C for control, you'll find a whole bunch of other options that are really important, all right? You will see by default that it defaults to all, and it should really stay at all. If it gets changed from all, bad things happen. So what all means is that AutoCAD's gonna remember everything that you did since you entered the drawing editor. Okay, it's not gonna remember what you did two months ago, just since you've been in this drawing session. And it's going to remember that so that you can do an undo back all the way to when you first entered this join session. So you can do as many undos as you want. All right. If you decide that you don't want it set to all and you set it to none, you basically are breaking undo. You are turning undo off. It is gone. No more undos. You are, have decided that you are perfect and never make a mistake. It's like you're back in release 1.4 of AutoCAD when there was no undo command because there used to not be an undo command. Now I'm going to show you what will happen. Brace yourself. I'm going to do N for none. Ah, don't do that. Now, look at the arrow up here. The arrow is gone. <laughs> it is grayed out. You cannot use it. Ah, let's do a U. It's like, oh no, it's not going to go like that. Nothing happened, did it? No, nothing happened. Talk to the hand, it doesn't care. You can no longer do an undo, which I just think it has zero value unless you just wanna torture your coworkers, which has some value, admit it, <laughs> okay? Let's go back into undo. And I suggest, once again, that you put that to all. You don't wanna leave it at none. One is also an option, so that means that it just remembers one, the last one thing that you did. That's for those of you, I guess, who believe you're nearly perfect, but we definitely want to set it at all. I want you to see that it defaults right back to all at this point forward, incidentally, because it thinks you lost your mind when you decided to set it at none. It immediately goes back to all, but you broke it from that point forward. It's not going to remember what you did, so you're out of luck. You are out of luck. <laughs> you can't undo past that point. All right. So I don't know why you would set it to none or one, once again, just unless you want to kill, torture somebody. And uh, combine is important, though. So you can, do you want the zoom and pan operations being combined? That's really related to your mouse, so that when you're zooming and panning, do you want it to, when you do an undo, do you want it to undo that entire zoom and or pan? Or do you want it to undo every single tiny little zoom increment that your mouse does? Um, I'm pretty sure you want it to undo the entire zoom and or pan, okay? That's up to you. If you notice that it's just undoing tiny little increments of your zooms, you need to come in here and check this. Make sure that is set to yes. And I actually think some of the value in this uh, is knowing when things go wrong. If I go into layer, you'll see that you, it's asking if you want to combine the layer dialog operation. So let's say you go into the layer dialog box and you do 20 things. You leave the layer dialog box, you do an undo. The way it's set right now, your undo would undo all of those 20 operations. Is that the way you want it to work? That's up to you. If you set this to no, it will undo each of those 20 operations one at a time. That's up to you. Whatever works for you, whatever makes you happy. All right, so I think that we have seen quite a bit in the land of undo. Now you're an undo expert. Now, I want you to use your powers for good. All right, 
Be kind to your coworkers because now you have a lot of power. <laughs> Where there's power, there's danger. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you back here in two more weeks. Peace out.